What happened? Oh no! It fell! It fell! Oh no! Well, you know I won't leave you with a to be continuous sign. So, let's get started. Alright, the aquarium actually break quite bad and so I need to silicon it. Leaving it overnight and it's finally dry. Time for water test. Make sure that there are no leakage. Good, no leakage. Great silicon. Now the purpose of these fringes you see here is actually to make false bottom so that with these fringes I don't need to put so much pebbles, so much rock to make an elevation for the false bottom. And so now I'm going to put in all the soil. Right, there will be a pond in the middle just like what you saw in the first one. Mixing the sand with the soil. Alright, so the plants that I'm going to put in are spider plant, vein plant, and devil's backbone. And so I proceed to plant it in. Yes, this Victoria plants does look deformed because it is too heavy. And it has been quite long that I actually kept this plant and it turns out to bend sideways. So I just do some hardscaping and planting in the plants. So this is basically how I want the varium to look like. Now putting in some of these devil's max bones at these corners. And then going to my vivarium and taking out some of these wood pieces. Because it has snails and isopods, even springtails on it, making this vivarium bioactive. Pretty much satisfied with the hardscaping of it, and so it's time to add in some sphagnum moss. With some leaf leaders, making it looks more natural. Yes. Now filling up the water and yes, I am satisfied with it. What do you guys think? Does it look nice? I put in some of the workers in to test the barrier. And it seems like everything went fine. No workers escaped. The barriers are working quite good. Wait, how did you? Alright, not completely safe. Look at this major. At first, I thought only Elbow is able to swim, but I didn't know that actually Orivantris is also able to swim. Wow, this is the first time I saw an ant swimming. I couldn't actually find where's the bridge, but I just decided to put in the workers.
and now it is time to move them from here into here I have no idea how should I do it and so Yep, that's what you saw on Instagram and my Facebook page <laughs> They were everywhere And they managed to actually climb up from the blue one barrier and So this is the first round The first round from the hydration chamber They actually nested in the hydration chamber So there were about like 1000 workers of this colony So that's only a part of it and I can see that this vivarium is already crowded with workers and brutes. I kind of regret it because at first I thought there's only 500 but there's still this much more in it. But there's no turning back right? So Some of the ants drown in the water. I tried to find, make sure that the quid is not in the water, and good news is the quid is not. Look at them, all of the workers. More than a thousand workers. The whole entire colony is in this vivarium now. Wow. But there's one thing that I'm very concerned now is that at first I thought I only have 500 workers in this colony But when I open up the hydration chamber, I realized that there are almost 500 more even 600 in the hydration chambers with a lot of roots So there are actually a thousand workers in this colony and realized that this river is actually too small for them I only hope that they manage to make their nest here properly. Hoping nothing will happen. Fingers crossed. After all, it's have love forever. Wait, there's more? Oh no Oh no Ants are everywhere They managed to escape they actually cross the baby powder barrier by piling up the soil in this corner. Look at the soil piled up behind this petonia plant. I realized that they indeed could not survive in this small space and so I quickly put in some test tubes to move them out of this vivarium. I can see them carrying their brutes into the test tube immediately. And then I decided to move them back into the original pop and slot for the carrier. I keep on look for the queen, but I couldn't find her until when I put them under the sun, she decided to show up. workers starting to explore their original home again Well, 
it seems like the dream to have this houseplant vivarium for the black pearl cannot succeed. But since this is an experiment, the reason I do this experiment is that I want to test whether are the houseplant able to live in my environment. And so I decided to give them this houseplant, the spider plant in the outworld. The colony actually reduced to half, which means that there are another half of the colony running free in my house. Once in a while, I will still see them and I will need to catch them back. A few days later, I realized the houseplant died. Which means the light intensity, not even little sunlight is able to reach into my house. They seems to carry some of the soil into their nest, cover up the acrylic, and even I can see humidity build up in the middle chamber. All the brutes are there. So I decided to remove some of the soil so that they won't be able to carry more soil into the nest. This soil is still bioactive so that whatever waste product that they put there will be cleaned up by springtails, isopods and some snails. Seems like if I want to make a houseplant vivarium, I will need to install some lightings for them. After all, it's love forever. <laughs> 